My name is George O'Connor, and you're watching Sport and Icons. You know what, here in Great Britain, we are so blessed that we have so much talent in and around the world with sport. But of course, my sport, boxing. We are inundated with so much talent coming through, through the amateurs. Of course, on this particular one, we're talking about the Olympic Games. In fact, three of our Brits fought today, uh, starting off at early hours in the morning. All three of them have got through to the next round. And we're going to start off with Ben Whitaker, where I know a lot of people, even before the competition, were saying how Ben Whitaker is guaranteed to be winning a gold medal. Now, firstly, no guarantees and nothing. But Ben Whitaker, his performance today, comprehensive victory, a official scorecard of 5-0 to zero over Oroby. He's certainly looking the deal, isn't he? He's looking the real, real deal. He really is. Now, he's going to be taking on a Brazilian fighter in the quarterfinals called uh, Machado. And that will be happening on Friday at 24 minutes past five in the morning, UK time. Now, he wins that one. He's guaranteed himself a medal, a minimum of a bronze medal. So just one fight away. So he's looking real good. He looks like a, well, he's a crowd pleaser, isn't he? And of course, with his uh, street fighter posing at the end, he's... <laughs> For me, I think he's going to be one of these kind of characters when he turns pro that a lot of people are going to be talking about. But first things first, the Olympic Games. Let's see how far he can go. I said a lot of people are predicting him to get the gold medal. He's looking pretty good for that one, isn't he? Now, Lauren Price. Now, Lauren Price. Now, she fought at the uh, women's middleweight division and is now through to the quarter final. So, again, she's one fight away. In fact, in the quarterfinals, uh, she's going to be taking on uh, Bylon on saturday at six minutes past five in the morning so she wins that again guaranteed a medal now lauren price again much like ben whittaker much, much like most of our gb squad for boxing there's a very realistic chance that she could go on and get the gold for me listen i'm gonna be ecstatic for any of these to get the gold of course i am and that's the one that hopefully all of them are pushing for and i believe that they are but even just to get a bronze would be fantastic and i say just just getting a bronze isn't just. Getting a bronze is a hell of an achievement. But Lauren Price, again, a 5-0 victory today over Mukabat. I think I killed it, but who knows. But either way, again, this was a very, very dominant display. Lauren Price is going to be a very difficult fighter to beat. I know people may talk about the other women in her weight division and how Lauren, she may struggle with her or she may struggle with her. To be honest with you, I think they may struggle with Lauren Price. That's my answer to that one. Either way, fantastic stuff. All flying the flag for Great Britain. But last, and certainly by no means least, Karis Artingstall. Now, of course, I did a review of her previous fight. But now she has defeated Nicholson in the quarterfinals. Now, it was a close fight. She won it 3-2. And she got the decision, rightfully so. And now she has guaranteed herself at least a bronze medal. Now, quite when she's going to be fighting next i don't know i'm presuming maybe sunday i don't know that for sure but either way karis artingstall is looking absolutely fantastic when i watch her fight her awkward style the southpaw is just for me it's she's so difficult to beat she's so so difficult to beat and by the way her opponent today nicholson she was game she was really game she was trying to win that fight she wasn't there just to make up the numbers and just participate, not at all. She was trying to beat Artingstall. She really was, and it was a pretty good fight. Now, Karis Artingstall, I think that she's going to be, again, one of these girls that when she turns pro, I think a lot of people will be talking about her. Much like with Ben Whitaker, much like with um, Lauren Price, and quite a few of the uh, amateurs that we have over there at the Olympic Games. But Karis Artingstall, absolutely fantastic, and she'll be very, very proud of herself. I'm sure she is, that she's at least now going to be stood on the podium at a bare minimum. Fantastic stuff for Team GB when it comes to the boxing. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.